Welcome to Python Beginner 9, Modules. Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. What are modules? Well, modules are collections of code written by other people. This is what makes Python so great. There are thousands of modules out there and you can download them and use them. Python also comes with a standard library of modules, which can be found at this link here. They contain the most popular sets of tools, things for interaction with an operating system, interaction with the network, math, and many more. In this tutorial we'll be looking at importing the math module and using some of its functions. To import a module, we use the syntax import, space, and then the module name. We'll be using the math module, so we use import math. Make sure that you import everything you need at the top of your code file. So, let's create a file called toot9.py. Our program is going to use the function fabs from the math library. This function will turn negatives into positives by dropping the negative sign. Okay, so let's start coding. Let's create our file. So let's open and use toot9.py. And now let's import math. So import math. And we'll define our main function then, def main, open close brackets, colon, tab in, we'll create a try because we're going to get getting some user input, tab in twice, and we'll create a variable called number and make it equal to a float of raw underscore input, please enter a number, close quotes, close that off. And now we're going to use number, so number is equal to math dot fabs open bracket number. So we're going to pass number into the function and that's going to get rid of any negative signs if they're there. And now let's print out number, print number. Now let's write our accept, so we'll go back one indentation except colon print open quotes you did not enter a number dot 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 and now let's write our if so our if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to open quotes underscore underscore main underscore underscore close quotes colon run main okay so now we've got our program let's save it and now let's run it so python 29.py now please enter a number so let's enter something like five and notice we get five as the output so that works correctly let's try running again let's put in something like negative four and we get positive four out so as you see, it's dropped the negative sign and given us positive 4. And if we run it one, one more time and we put in something like an F, it's not a number, we'll get you did not enter a number dot dot dot. So our, tr our try catches, our try accept has caught that. Okay. So this is good for things that can result in negatives. However, if you want a positive, then we use it. For example, the difference between two values. You may have something like, what's the difference between 7 and 5? So minus 7 from 5 and get negative 2. With absolute, it will always be positive, so the output would be 2 rather than negative 2. Now, let's use math.pi. Now, pi is a mathematical constant, and that means it can't be changed. Um, the math.pi constant holds pi to a certain precision. So let's make a program that calculates the area of a circle. To get the area of a circle, we use the formula pi times radius squared. So let's edit our program to calculate the area of a circle given a radius entered by the user. So we use the formula area equals pi times radius squared. And this formula in Python is math.py times radius times times 2. And times times means to the power of. Okay. So let's edit our program. 
m2 pine dot pi. Oh, that was my mistake. So toot nine dot pi. Now let's edit this and we'll change number to radius, our variable number to radius, and we'll change the prompt raw input to please enter a radius. Now let's change our second variable, well, our other use of number, and make it area. And we're going to be using the pi constant, so we use math.pi times radius times times 2. And then we print out our area. And we can save and run this. So we save. And now let's run this. And it says, please enter a radius. So let's enter a radius of 5. And we get 78.539. Now let's check if that's right. Open up calculator here and we get pi times open bracket 5 squared close bracket and we get 78.539. So yep, our program's running correctly. So we've just created a, a program that can calculate the area of a circle when we give it a radius. You can find all of the functions in the math module at this link here. This link will be in the description. This, this concludes our look at modules and our beginner series in Python. Don't fear if you don't remember all of this, you can easily come back and rewatch any of the videos to consolidate all the information. Remember, practice makes perfect. If you feel that you understand most of the coding that has been done in these tutorials, then you should be able to follow along and learn in my other tutorials. If you have any questions and you can't find the answer after a quick Google search, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this beginner series. Subscribe for more tutorials.